Hello, my name is Will Rock and I'm a Senior Applications Engineer here at Headwall Photonics and today I will be demonstrating our new product, the MVX. The MVX is an integrated hyperspectral imaging system that enables end users to quickly and seamlessly integrate hyperspectral imaging into their real world applications. It is a unique system because it both collects hyperspectral data and analyzes it in real time and outputs real time classified results to uh, bring actionable information directly to your processing line seamlessly and quickly. The MVX also comes with an IP67 rated enclosure, so it is a, a protected device, and you can connect to the MVX via a gigabit ethernet connection, and right now the MVX is connected to Headwall's internal network, so anybody with the proper internal network security can log into the device and control and download data to enable your remote workforce to both develop and improve models and monitor the performance of the sensor. So the next step of this demo will be to go ahead and, and show you what operating in real time. So I'm, I have pulled up here the web UI, the web user interface, and I have connected to the MVX via its uh, IP address. So now I have already set a reasonable exposure time and if I just click live view, I can see a live view of uh, the, the MVX output and I just uh, adjusted my uh, sample a little bit. And currently under the MVX is a white reference that allows you to uh, calibrate the sensor. So the next step is calibration and uh, collecting a dark reference is easy because there is an internal shutter and when I click collect dark reference, the shutter closes, the reference is captured, and you get a blue check mark indicating that your last captured reference is valid. Now I will capture my white reference because I already have the white reference in place. The white reference is captured, and uh, now I'm ready to remove my white reference and collect some data. And I, I can collect data by using the, the classification tab and here I can go ahead and tell it that I'm ready to collect some training data and I will call it a reasonable name. This training data set is uh, a bunch of almonds along with some foreign material that includes some rocks and some shells and some almonds in the shells and uh, this is an actual set of data from a real process line or a set of almonds from a real process line that includes things that almond uh, producers are actually worried about removing from their process line. And so we're gonna demonstrate the collection of a set of sample data, the quick development of a classification model, and then the real-time deployment of that model. So now I uh, have told the system that I wanna collect training data, and now I can see the start capture icon has appeared. So all I need to do now is start my belt and then press start capture once my almonds reach the sensor. And I have other views that I can show here as well. So if you, uh, for many people, the image coming off the sensor might not be very meaningful, but instead if you want to view the pseudo RGB, this will look more like a, an image like we're all familiar with seeing. So now that the sample's done, I will stop the capture, stop my belt, and go ahead and download the data for creation of a model. Now that I've downloaded the data, I will demonstrate the creation of a runtime model. Headwall's MVX is integrated with Perclass Mira to allow you to uh, generate a model using the, the Mira software and then run the runtime engine on the MVX. So I've pulled up Perclass Mira and now I will open the image that I just downloaded. And the image is loading into Perclass and it is applying the corrections that I um, uh, took before gathering the image as well. Once the data has been loaded in Mira, you can train it by painting areas of interest uh, as different classes. So first, I will define my first class, a new class, and I will call it background. And I can make any of the classes any color that I like. 
So here I'm going to make the background yellow and now I'm just going to paint several places on my image to define the area that is the background. Now I'm going to make my next class almonds. I'll assign, assign a color to the almond and I will paint on the almonds in order to train the algorithm what's an almond. And I'm just selecting a couple different places here to paint to train it as an almond. And now I will train on a shell. And finally, I will train on some rocks. And once I have painted some areas of interest, I can go ahead and generate a model by clicking the model search button at the top. And you can see in the lower right hand corner that Mira is working. So now, just like that, I have a real time model that can be deployed. And this model can of course be tuned and improved. For instance, uh, I can go ahead and lower my uh, threshold here and see that I'm getting some misclassifications in shadows around here. So I can go ahead and label uh, the shadows as background to be sure that the background is defined properly. And then I can simply retrain my model and see that many of these edges that used to be classified as shells are now classified as background. So that is how one can quickly and easily train a mirror model to recognize uh, different objects. Now once you're satisfied with your model, you go to classification and then export classifier and export as an, a normal mirror runtime. It will allow you to, to save it, so I'm going to call it live almond demo. And then the, the runtime version of your model has been saved. You can go back to uh, the user interface, the, the web user interface, go to upload model, and then go back to where you had uh, saved your data. So I'm gonna go back to this training data for the live demo and I'm going to upload live almond demo. And once the model has been uploaded, I can go ahead and select the model. And once a model has been selected, you can display the results of that model in real time. So now I will go ahead and uh, since I am showing the image from the MVX right now, start the belt and watch the almonds passing under the belt and then I will switch to the classified view and you can see the real-time classification working on the MVX so in a matter of minutes I've collected data I've trained on that data and now I'm getting real-time classification of that data to differentiate almonds shells and rocks Now I've prepared a test set that contains 
two shells, and three rocks, and a bunch of almonds. And I'm going to run this test set against the classifier that we have used on the previous training set to see if our training set will work, uh, or if our test set will work on a random set of almonds. So now I'm just going to start the belt, and the classifier is already running. So I see a couple of almonds already going uh, past on the belt. And there are a couple of misclassifications. Oh, there's one shell and there's a rock. And these misclassifications of the almond meat could be improved by further model development. There's another rock. And, uh, and there's the third rock. And there's the second shell. So all of the defects were found. And all of the almonds were found as well. So the model that was created with the, the training set clearly worked on the test set as well. Uh, and some further refinements could make it work even better.